access to safe drinking water, no access to nutritious food, all things the Sopo family don't have. I mean, their staple meal is banku and soup, which is not enough nutrition for growing children and a pregnant mother. If not for access to free medical services at the latter health center, the Sopo family would continue to live in privation. <laughs> Samuel Isiedu is a staff nurse at the Latin uh, Health Center. He chanced on the family when Abla took her young twins to the clinic. This, this is the food I've been giving to them. It's RUTF, ready to use therapeutic food. We use it to treat marasmic, kwashiorkor, kwashiorkor, and this kind of disease. When we came, their weight were five something, 5.0, but now they are six going. So it means it's working. 21 months, they are supposed to weigh something like um, 10 kg going on. You know. The family has been under the radar of the center and social services for a while. It's more than three years back. I went there with my community nurses, and the, the, the way they, are, they were keeping themselves there it was not actually the best. We could see that it's just extreme poverty that is putting them in that way. Sometimes we see the, the place that they lodge, I mean, their home, where they call home, it's not good at all. When it rains, in fact, all the children are wet. So first we try as much as we could do. We brought in the Tetakwashi social worker also to help them. But there's no finances for her also to move up and down to do her work. So she also decided to pack back. And since then, we also stopped going there frequently. It was later on we decided to go back this year to see how best they are doing. And the new community nurses that have been posted, they also pick it up to seek for help. It has been a week since we visited the Sopo family. I have been thinking about how the Livelihood Empowerment Against Poverty Program, or LEAP, can help them. This is the government intervention to ease poverty rates in Ghana. So I seek out the Social Welfare Department in Nkwanta North, where Ben Kumlate falls under, to find out if the Ministry of Gender has been alerted about the family's plight. The office is closed, but I managed to get the district coordinator on phone, who tells me the LEAP program has just been launched in the eastern region and beneficiaries are yet to be identified. Back to the Sopo household. It's two days to Christmas and clothes, food and water have been sourced for them. But this is just a temporary measure. The aim of the interventions are not really to get them out of poverty, but is to be resilient to poverty. What it means is that they should be able to cope within the context of poverty they are finding themselves in. Otherwise, there are so many poor in Ghana, and you cannot take all of them out of poverty. But at least we have to create the environment that within the little that they have, they are able to grow and then grow in a way that does not affect their health and their safety. Mm -hmm. The United Nations says global extreme poverty rates have been cut by more than half since the 1990s. But millions of people still live on less than $1.25 a day. People like the Sopo family. For now, the family has been giving a little lifeline. The Sopo family is smiling this Christmas. From Benkum, Latte Kriapim, Ifoakwa Harrison, Joy News.